Hi, thank you for joining me today. We've been reading through A Course in Miracles, the main text, and today we're going to be reading from chapter 19, The Attainment of Peace, section 11, The Fourth Obstacle, The Fear of God. The Fourth Obstacle, The Fear of God. What would you see without the fear of death? What would you feel and think if death held no attraction for you? Very simply, you would remember your father, the creator of life, the source of everything that lives, the father of the universe and of the universe of universes and of everything that lies even beyond them, would you remember? And as this memory rises in your mind, peace must still surmount a final obstacle after which is salvation completed and the Son of God entirely restored to sanity. For here your world does end. The fourth obstacle to be surmounted hangs like a heavy veil before the face of Christ, as his face rises beyond it, shining with joy, because he is in his Father's love. Peace will lightly brush the veil aside and run to meet him and to join with him at last. For this dark veil, which seems to make the face of Christ himself like a leper's, and the bright rays of his Father's love that light his face with glory appear as streams of blood, fades in the blazing light beyond it when the fear of death is gone. This is the darkest veil, upheld by the belief in death and protected by its attraction. The dedication to death and to its sovereignty is but the solemn vow, the promise made in secret to the ego never to lift this veil, not to approach it, nor even to suspect that it is there. This is the secret bargain made with the ego to keep what lies beyond the veil forever blotted out and unremembered. Here is your promise never to allow union, to call you out of separation. The great amnesia in which the memory of God seems quite forgotten, the cleavage of yourself from you, the fear of God, and the final step in your dissociation. See how the belief in death would seem to save you? For if this were gone, what could you fear but life? It is the attraction of death that makes life seem to be ugly, cruel, and tyrannical. You are no more afraid of death than of the ego. There are your chosen friends. But in your secret alliance with them, you have agreed never to let the fear of God be lifted, so you could look upon the face of Christ and join him in his Father. Every obstacle that peace must flow across is surmounted in just the same way. The fear that raised its yields to love beyond, and so the fear is gone. And so it is with this. The desire to get rid of peace and drive the Holy Spirit from you fades in the presence of the quiet recognition that you love him. The exaltation of the body is given up in favor of the spirit, which you love as you could never love the body. And the appeal of death is lost forever as love's attraction stirs and calls to you. From beyond each of the obstacles to love, love itself has called. And each has been surmounted by the power of the attraction that lies beyond. Your wanting fear seemed to be holding them in place. Yet when you heard the voice of love beyond them, you answered and they disappeared. Now you can stand in terror before what you swore never to look upon. Your eyes look down remembering your promise to your friends. The loveliness of sin, the delicate appeal of guilt, the holy waxen image of death, and the fear of the vengeance of the ego you swore in blood not to desert, all rise and bid you not to raise your eyes. For you realize that if you look upon this and let the veil be lifted, they will be gone forever. 
all your friends, your protectors, and your home will vanish. Nothing that you remember now will you remember. It seems to you the world will utterly abandon you if you but raise your eyes. Yet all that will occur is you will leave the world forever. This is the reestablishment of your will. Look upon it open-eyed and you will never more believe that you are at the mercy of things beyond you, forces you cannot control, and thoughts that come to you against your will. It is your will to look on this. No mad desire, no trivially, trivial impulse to forget again, no stab of fear, nor the cold sweat of seeming death can stand against your will. For what attracts you from the beyond the veil is also deep within you, unseparated from it, and completely one. So this is an a interesting section. And, you know, the, the, I think the real point here is that we fear death when uh, there is no such thing as death, right? The body will cease to function, but you, your spirit, will live on. So I hope you have a great day with this section today. If you need additional support, you can reach out to me, 907-351-3003. Uh, texting is best. Uh, message me through SoundCloud or Facebook or um, YouTube or through my websites, Linda Lamp and lindalamp.com and lindalamp.shop. Until next week or until the next day for the daily lessons, namaste and much love.